minutes of the game. Um, we just decided to keep plugging away, and we stuck together. We've always talked all year about when tough times come, we lean in. That, that last three minutes seemed like they lasted forever. Um, I'm just so proud of our kids because we've talked all year about when times get tough, that we lean into each other, and we stick to each other, and we get it done, and I thought our girls did that tonight. I mean, this must be just, you know, what a great team, and you get another one next week, of course, too, John Burroughs. Um, you know, it must feel like this team could kind of take on anyone right now, huh? Yeah, I think they have that mentality. They just really believe in what we're doing. They believe in themselves. Um, and they just know that if they stick together in their unit, that they can go out and compete with anyone. How about the, how about the environment here tonight? It was so loud. Yeah, it was incredible. You know, Marshville's awesome like that. Um, it's a community that's known for its basketball, and we were just really excited to give it an opportunity to come out and cheer at another state quarterfinal and get back to state. Yeah, I mean, I know when we did the Athlete of the Week on Lauren, I mean, she's a really special player. I know you have a, a special group here, and this kind of probably felt like this was the year to do it. I mean, can you put that into words? I just think this is the beauty of high school sports, right? These are a bunch of kids that grew up in Marshfield, and since they were little, um, they dreamed of this game right here. And so ever since then, they've been building toward it, and they, they've come together and made it happen. Boy, just those last few minutes, the composure your team showed, I think you were down by as many as six or seven uh, late there. What did you tell them in that timeout that worked so well? Um, we just sat down and we, we calmed down for a minute, and then I just told them we're going to win this basketball game. You know, and that's the beauty of having four seniors, is they believe, they're calm, they've been here before, and, and they acted like it. Wow, this moment, four seniors. I, I bet you've been preparing those for those last few minutes. Oh. <laughs> so uh, just talk about those last few minutes. I mean, I was nervous for y'all, and you guys, yeah. really, you ladies handled that so well. Yeah, I really don't think there's any nerves for us. I mean, we believed in each other since the beginning, and we knew we were down a little bit. We just took it every possession at a time, and I think we just believed in each other so much, we never doubted what we were going to do. So being down a few points didn't phase us. I think it was six or seven points was the deficit when that timeout was called, and then I don't know what the run was after that, but you came out on fire. What was that? What did Coach say to you? Um, honestly, just finish the game. I mean, she knows our goals and everything, and she just encouraged us. I mean, it wasn't anything too special. It was just like, you got to go get your job done. Okay, so how cool is that right now, just going up there, tearing down those nets? I mean, you've been probably dreaming about this for a while. Oh, my gosh. I've dreamed about this since I was, like, two. Like, I'm not joking. This has been our goal since we came to high school, since we were all little girls. And to finally get it done is just, like, unbelievable. It's a dream come true. Last time was, what, 2014? Yes. This happened? Yeah. Is that something you all talked about? Oh, yeah. We were little girls in the stands watching that. So just really getting to do it ourselves after those girls that were so good is just such an honor.